Now you'll see how Joy Jordison and his stage looks have changed from his early years to his death. Also, you'll learn all the most interesting things about the number one. Enjoy watching. Nathan Jonas Jordison was born in Demain, Iowa. The parents of the future rock star often included records by the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, The Who, and Kiss. It was the latter that became the boy's favorite band. And after watching an Ozzy Osbourne concert in 1981, he developed a love for metal music. At first, Joy mastered playing guitar. And at the age of seven, he received a drum kit as a gift from his mom and dad, to the delight of the neighbors. The divorce of his parents served as a kind of impetus that forced Nathan to grow up. After school, the boy helped his mother take care of his younger sister. And after the woman married again, Jordison helped his stepfather who worked in a funeral home. The boy helped wash and clean up the dead, and as he later admitted, he saw so many dead people in his life that it's even difficult to imagine. During his student years, Joy worked part-time at a music warehouse, and at the same time played in local rock projects. At that time, together with his neighbor named Tim, the drummer created the band Modifidius. A little later, guitarist Jay and bassist Ryan joined them. The collective was formed in 1990 and existed for five years. It was from it that three members of Slipknot matured, including Joy himself. Modifidius started with warm-up shows at Atomic Opera, where future Slipknot guitarist James Root was playing at that time. In 1994, the band released their first album, Sprawl. All the artwork was done by Jordison. On the cover of the album there was an American serial killer, also known as Killer Clown. And inside the CD packaging, Joy wrote that the band was the king of domain, as at that time they were giving many concerts there and gathering 200 people at their shows. By the end of the year, the band started to get together less and less often, and at the beginning of 1995, Modifidius broke up. In May of the same year, the legendary drummer became a member of Slipknot. The band became known for its aggressive experimental style in music, as well as for its intimidating masks. Jordison told that his choice of stage image is not accidental. As a child on Halloween, his mom put on a Japanese kabuki mask and scared the boy. This picture was imprinted on his memory for life and served as the basis for his mask. In the era of fourth album, a wreath of thorns on his head and armbands in the form of branches were added to the usual image, which looked very epic. The year 1999 was a watershed year for Slipknot. Releasing their first album of the same name, they became in great demand. The release went platinum, and the band was remembered for their live, energetic performances with elements of aggression. Two years later, the release Iowa came out, which becomes even darker and heavier than the previous one. The drummer himself compared the period of recording the album with the time in prison. All the members were locked in a studio where there was a lot of alcohol and strong substances until the result was ready. However, it was this record that showed Joy as a true professional. With the new program, the band went on tour, where they recorded their performance, which was later released on DVD. The drummer's solo was caught on video where he sat behind a rig that rotated in a circle and flipped from bottom to top. Jordison amazed everyone with how easily he played his part under such conditions. In two minutes, he could make 2,677 strokes. That's 22 strokes per second. And later, the drummer entered the Guinness Book of Records. Bidding his own result, he gave out 37 strokes per second. In 2004, Slipknot released their third album entitled Volume 3 The Subliminal Verses. It's somewhat different from the previous ones, in that it's written without the use of profanity. Joy described this work as if the band Slayer had been mixed with Radiohead. This also included Slipknot's most listened to song, Duality. The single Before I Forget not only won a Grammy, but was also recognized as the best metal song of the decade. In 2008, the band released their fourth album, All Hope Is Gone, which caused a lot of controversy among critics and fans. Many people didn't like the band's musical experiments, but that didn't stop the release from becoming one of the year's most buzzed about albums. In pursuit of an underground sound, Slipknot made attempts to record the live croaking of frogs, as well as Corey Taylor's vocals at the bottom of a well. Slipknot became one of the most successful metal bands in the world. In addition to it, Nathan was in seven other bands during his career. The most prominent of them is Murder Dolls, in which he was the lead guitarist. In 2013, Joy was forced to leave Slipknot after one of the concerts, where the musician noticeably failed to cope with the rhythm. As it turned out, Jordison had a serious disease. 
transverse myelitis, and the drummer played his last parts in severe pain. After a while, at the age of 46, Nathan Jonas passed away in his sleep. While still alive, Joey suffered from addiction to powerful substances, but hid his problems for a long time. However, after Jordison saw the pain he was causing his family, he openly admitted his addictions and began to fight them. The drummer's love for cats is also worth mentioning. He and his friend worked together in the design of clothes, based on a cat with features reminiscent of Jordison himself. The musician planned to donate the money received from the sale to animal shelters. However, his collection of clothes was not released until after his death. Jordison is remembered by fans as one of the most famous and influential drummers in the history of heavy music. The record set by the legendary musician is still unrivaled today. Watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite rock stars. See you in the next video.